Good morning and thanks for joining us for NBC 16 today. I'm jean Melzer. Melzer. Exactly, and we'll just get the rain out of the way early in get the week, Monday and Tuesday, and then the rest of your week you can just enjoy that sun. Okay, that I'm okay with. Sure. This is all really helping with our drought index as we are continuing to see this severe start to shrink, moderate kind of taking over and dry even moving in on some parts along the coast. So definitely happy to see that rain be with us, but also a break from the rain coming end of your week starting weekend so things starting to look really good. I bet you're axing what I'm doing here. Well, I'm at Oregon Axe for this week's Work Watch Wednesday, and they're hiring experts. So let's find out what you got to do to apply. D plus mile per hour wind speeds along our Santian Pass. That's going to get a lot of snow and a lot of wind as this low moves on in, bringing a lot of that rain and snow. If you're ready to hit a home run in your career, you came to the right place. We're at PK Park because the Emeralds are hiring for this week's Work Watch Wednesday. This is potentially where the river could be flooding. We still have this flood warning in effect down at the Coquille River, very close to Myrtle Point. Actually, what a great idea because if you were a thief and you were going to steal out of the cash register and then a squirrel jumped out, I think you would be <laughs> diverted. <laughs> That's right, we're here at Green Hill Humane Society for Clear the Shelters, and this is a small animal room because not only do they adopt out cats and dogs, but bunnies as well and other small animals. So who is this, Megan? This is Parsnip. We're also seeing good air quality, which is some great news, as if you can remember last week, we had a lot of moderate dots and even some unsafe for sensitive groups. This week, a very different story as we did have that rain that kind of pushed everything out. And I love how kids can just eat like like slice after they always want another slice you know kids. what I mean it's like they can never enough I mean kids <laughs> adults too adults too <laughs> big kids yeah <laughs> <laughs> This week's work watch, we're at Bounce Gymnastics and they have a lot of positions, so let's go find out what they are. Come on. Like something Thanksgiving now. I mean, I was waiting for you to say the turkey flavored one exactly. with the turkey face on top and you know, I'm glad they didn't go there. You know, I think it's creative that a lot of businesses are trying to find creative ways to make that all work, but I like my donuts to taste more chocolatey, caramely, not uh, turkey. Me too. <laughs> Let it look like a turkey, but taste delicious exactly. and sweet. Exactly. I gotta get one of those cranberry yeah. ones, but we have to... Thank you for joining us on NBC 16 today. More news in 25 minutes and anytime on NBC16.com. And join us back here tonight for NBC 16 News at 5 and 530. Have a great Tuesday out there. And now weather with Shavia Melzer. This is such beautiful conditions for a Friday afternoon. And look at that gorgeous sight from our tower camera here on Blanton. We really are lucky to be here right now. Uh, temperatures in the 50s. We started the day in the 30s, but already we're in the 50s and lots of sunshine. So things are going pretty great for us. But if you do have allergies, we do have elevated tree pollen today. So something to think about. You might not want to be out in this gorgeousness that much. Also, next couple of days, you could be experiencing a bit of that uh, allergy attack as well. Temperatures warmed up nicely from this morning as this morning we were in the 30s and now we're already seen high 40s, low 50s, even mid 50s down in Azalea, which was seeing freezing conditions this morning. Double digit wind speeds along the coast. It might be a little bit colder over in Gold Beach with those 17 mile per hour wind speeds. And we're going to see more wind along the coast this afternoon, uh, looking pretty calm along the I-5 corridor until this evening. Then we're seeing double digit wind speeds in Corvallis and in Junction City along our Santiam Pass as well. And we're seeing double digit wind speeds along the I-5 corridor this evening. And double digit wind speeds still in Gold Beach. So a little bit of some gusty winds uh, making their way through along the I-5 corridor and along the coast. And then we kind of see those calm tonight along the I-5 corridor. That sunny sky is with us for the rest of your afternoon and potential to get up into the 60s. And then you know it, that's right, that rain is coming on back. Expect to start seeing it this evening. We'll start to see a little bit and then more widespread, maybe around uh, 10, 11 p.m. Then it is going to be a quick one, a weak front making its way through western Oregon and Saturday looking to be pretty dry. So that is some good news for your Saturday. Up ahead, just a little bit of rain tonight. How much are we talking about? Just a couple hundreds of an inch, uh, barely anything along the coast and just a couple hundreds more.
more, but under a tenth of an inch uh, along the coast and along the I-5 corridor. But then, so we do get this dry Saturday ahead of us, Sunday and Monday. That's when this thing's going to move on in. So we do have more rain heading our way. So April, beginning with some rain. But you know what they say about April showers bring May flowers. And I'm already starting to see some of those beautiful flowers out there. Temperatures today could get up to the 60s, already in the 50s, so that is some good news. Those overnight lows also elevated above the 30s, so we like to see that. But then we do see them drop back down next week. And I don't want to see any more of that. Temperatures in the 30s, no thank you. Unless you enjoy that out there, that's fine too. Um, and then over along the coast, we are seeing a beautiful day to be had along the coast in the Umpqua Valley. But we do have those chances of slight showers moving on in tonight into tomorrow. And in Roseburg today, gorgeous day over there, looking pretty beautiful. And then temperatures in the low 60s. So we're really starting to luck out. And I think it has something to do with April 1st, the first day of April. We're in spring and it's Jody's birthday. Aww. It must all have something to do with a beautiful day. Oh, that's I thank you so much for the beautiful sunshine. I know you had a say in this. You're, you know, thank you, jean -Bierre. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> right. I wish I did. I would be sunny every day. Aww. Marie Martin is not a typical fifth grader. Elected as Oregon's kid governor, she has a deep love of animals and a belief in making the world a better place. Now, Emory is putting her plan into action, showing exactly what Acts of Kindness is all about. Animals are a huge part of my life. I want to help make sure their voices are heard because they can't speak. When Emery Martin ran for kid governor, she needed a platform to focus on, and after careful consideration, she chose a topic very important to her, stopping animal abuse and animal cruelty in Oregon. That's when she came up with her three-point plan. First part of the plan is lend a paw. P stands for participate, so like spend time with animals, help shelters. A stands for acknowledge, let them know that animals need this and W stands for welcome, welcoming animals into a friend's home or anyone's home. The second part of my plan is donation drive, which I already am doing that at my school, challenging other schools to do it too, and have more mandatory background checks for prior animal abuse convictions. After visiting Green Hill Humane Society, Emery decided to implement the second part of her plan with a donation and supply drive at her school, Pleasant Hill Elementary, benefiting Green Hill Humane Society. Well, I'm honored that Emery is working together with us here at Green Hill and choosing us as part of her program. I am so excited to um, be going to Pleasant Hill Elementary to talk to the young people and um, help her enforce her plan. Everyone who meets this amazing young woman is inspired by her leadership and her ability to make this world a better place. Emery is someone who wants to make a change. She wants to be a leader for her peers. She has that natural quality about her that um, can see the bigger picture in the world. She's not afraid to speak up. And I think because of that, she's gonna be someone who makes a big change in our world. In any situation, she will give of herself or give something to somebody else that might need it more. And I really hope it inspires young people to understand that animals, we are the voice of animals. What does Emery ask from our community? I hope that maybe they can help put my plan into action, like go out and be like, we're gonna stop animal cruelty, Probably. donate things. Yeah. Emery Martin is our acts of kindness and so we wanted to donate $150 to Green Hill Humane Society on behalf of Emery Martin Yay! for all of the work that That's she's amazing. doing. Thank you. Wow, this is unreal. Thank you so much. This money and all the supplies that you guys will be collecting throughout your drive is going to help so many animals and people help take care of their animals. Get out there and stop animal cruelty.